Okay, guys, let's say uh, briefly about bottleneck effect. Uh, this uh, the aim of bottleneck effect is just like similar uh, like the founder effect. So it's again a way of uh, evolution. It's a process which helps in evolution actually. So it's a raw material for evolution. We can tell. So bottleneck effect is the evolutionary history in any kind which forces a population. In mind which forces a population to be reduced almost fifty percent. So the number of population individually in the population is kind of reduced more than 50%. And as a result of this huge reduction in the number of individual in population, the population becomes smaller. And as the population becomes smaller, genetic drift start to affect more and the population changes. And the allelic frequency of the population is completely converted to kind of new one. As a result, a completely new population start to emerge and evolution sets place. That's what bottleneck effect is. So due to any kind of environmental hurdle, a population is squeezed just through like a bottleneck so that almost 50% and above 50% of the individual of population is getting reduced. Okay, so what we see here, so in this case, if I draw this system like a bottleneck, it will help you to memorize this. So if we look at this sec section, so let's say this is a population mother population and what happens due to a hurdle which placed here natural selection a hurdle whatever plays here due to any kind of limited habitat food limited food resources natural calamity and many things can be there so due to that reason if there are these are the organism these are the individuals of a mother population they squeeze through a bottleneck and almost 50% and more than 50% of the individual are getting reduced. So after that, when, when this thing is done and they enter into a new era again, what it left in this case, it left a very few members of that. So previously the population is a large one, but now due to this bottleneck effect, it is very small population. So as a result of this small population, genetic drift, sorry for that, so genetic drift will occur. As a result of this genetic drift, there will be change in allele frequency in this small population. And as the population becomes smaller and smaller, there is more chance of change in allele frequency. So as the allele frequency start to change, it will finally convert this population to something entirely else, which is completely different compared to the mother population members. So now what we get is a different type. It's a, it's a different phenotypic expression in the population. So we can tell it finally sets in evolution. That's what bottleneck is. Now during this this time it is called the bottleneck because the number of mother population is kind of squeezed through a small area after from a getting large area. That's just like a bottleneck. So bottleneck region here. It is also called as bottleneck phenomena. Okay. So, in, in, in all the case, in previous case, we have also seen in case of founder effect, the actual goal is to create a smaller population from a large one. As we go going towards a smaller population, as the population becomes smaller, genetic drift will affect more and other things will act more and finally change the allelic frequency and entirely it will prove, prove the evolution, right? So, this is just like a bottleneck and that's how evolution actually occurs. So these are the examples of how the allelic frequency can change, how the gene pool can be modified in a population, right? So these are the examples of them, bottleneck as well as founder, both of them are the examples of that kind of changes. Okay, so that's kind of it and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.